Welcome back from PassFAExams.com. Apologies for not having uploaded any videos for a while, but we have been extremely busy with multiple projects. One of these is the IFR Procedures software slash app, which is nearing completion. And the following video is another short extract taken from it. Following the requests of some of you viewers, here is how to execute a DME fix hold. In extremely rare occasions, ATC can assign you a hold at a DME fix of a certain radio of a VOR. This would be done mostly outside of the US, or because you again selected to participate to an extremely busy event, and all of the fixes and altitudes are already taken. In this last case, you would also expect a timed approach, which we will be discussing later on. So let's take a look at a typical clearance for a hold at a DME fix. November 123 Papatango, hold west of the 090 radial of Sparta's 15 DME, left turns, expect further clearance at 1745 Zulu. The common mistake I see students do all of the time is to choose the incorrect entry procedure. This is because they mistakenly look for 090 on the DG instead of 270. That 090 is followed by 15 DME, which just defines the point where we need to hold. In other words, the fix we need to hold on is located 15 miles to the east of Sparta, and we need to hold west of it. Therefore, on the DG, we need to look for west, not east. Remember what I said before, on the DG, look for the holding direction radial. When you hold at a VOR station, the direction and radial are the same. But when you hold at the DME fix, they often aren't. If we draw out the hold, it will become obvious. And if you are assigned a DME fix hold and have the time to do it, to avoid confusion, you might just want to draw it out. So, let's extend a 15 nautical mile line out of Sparta's 090 radial and then draw our fix there. Now, if we pretend that that fix is in fact the VOR station and forget the 09015 DME, we can rewrite the clearance as November 123 Papa Tango, hold west of Sparta on the 270 radio, left turns, expect further clearance at 1745 Zulu. When assigned a hold of the DME fix, you will always be already on or vector to the radio that you will be holding on well before reaching that fix. For this example, let's say that we are at Sparta when we receive the clearance and are instructed to track the 090 outbound until the fix. As you can see, on a 090 heading, the entry will be direct, as west is on the back of the DG. For the hold itself, there really are no differences except that the flag or passage of the station is now represented by the DME reporting 15. To refresh our scan, we should be 3-4 to four seconds on the altimeter, followed by 2 seconds on the VOR needle to see if it's centered, 2 seconds on the DG to check that the heading matches the VORs, plus minus any required wind correction obviously, and 4 seconds if we actually need to recenter that needle, 1 second on the DME to check for that 15, followed by a couple of seconds on your other navigation instruments starting with the attitude indicator to confirm the primary instruments information. By the way, Whenever you are straight and level and not extremely busy, you should add the engine monitoring instruments such as oil temperature and pressure to your scan to avoid unpleasant surprises later on. Another mistake many pilots end up making when using DME is forgetting to identify the DME station, or even worse, forgetting to set the correct frequency altogether. Obviously, if you're using the GPS for the DME information, there is no need to identify the station. But if you are using an actual DME unit, then you will need to input the station's frequency in the unit and then identify it. Keep in mind that it can take up to 30 seconds for the identifier to start beeping, as the DME station only sends out the code once every 30 seconds. Now back to our procedure. Once the DME indicates 15, it's time to start the procedure. So, a left turn to 270 for the outbound. The timing on the outbound if required, should be started when the DME again indicates 15. In this case, we will need time, because the clearance did not indicate leg distance. But in most cases, when the controller assigns you a hold at a DME fix, because you already have DME, 
they will also include in the clearance something like four mile legs, which renders timing useless. You would turn back to intercept the inbound when the DME says 11 in this case, or if you were holding east of it when it said 19. Well, thanks again for watching and Happy New Year to all of you. By the way, if your resolution this January 1st is to finally put the written test behind you, visit PassFAExams.com and let us help you make it a real easy task.